Uh, this one says, my knees do much better when I activate my glutes before working out. What are your favorite warm-up exercises that can help activate the glutes? Uh, the first one is an oldie but a goodie, and there's a reason that I give this to post-op hip patients um, when they're ready to start this exercise in the clinic. Um, so it's the bridge. So to do this in the Primal 7 band, you'll lay flat on the floor and put your heels in the band about a hip's width apart. You'll squeeze your butt and lift the hips up until your hips are even with your um, thighs. Pause for a second and then slowly return to start. You can also do this outside of the Primal 7 band by laying flat on the floor, bending your knees and putting your feet flat on the floor. Then you'll reach your hands forward so your fingertips are touching your heels. If you need to, just scoot your heels back a little bit. You're in a good position to start the bridge then. Keep your abs in tight, squeeze your butt, and lift your hips up until your hips are parallel to your thighs. Pause for a second and then return to start. With both of these, you can do two to three sets of 10 done slowly and evenly, and that'll help get you started before your workout. Another one that you can try is the single leg march hold in the Primal 7 band. So you'll put the band around the base of your chest, abs are nice and tight, and you'll stand on your right leg. So squeeze your butt on that right side, and then you'll lift your left leg up just about an inch above the floor, trying to keep your hips nice and level. I do like this one because it not only works on balance, but it helps you isolate the right from the left glute so that you make sure you're contracting them properly. You'll hold this for about 15 seconds, and then you'll switch to the left side. You can also do this outside the Primal 7 unit by going to your countertop, standing up nice and tall, keeping your hips level, and standing and balancing on your left, your right leg, and then switching to your left. Again, trying to hold for about 15 seconds at a time. Make sure you're actively squeezing your butt and keeping your hips level. Uh, the last one that I recommend, um, my personal love-hate relationship, is the squat hold. Um, you can do this in the Primal 7 unit as well. It's in one of our, it's in the first knee video. Um, so you'll put the band underneath your shoulders and then sit back like you're sitting into a chair after you come into your primal lean um, and make sure you're really squeezing your butt tight. Um, my personal issue um, that I have sometimes is I'm very quad dominant. So I have to constantly remind myself, hey, abs are nice and tight. Make sure I'm squeezing my butt along with my quads so it just doesn't become a quad activity. You can also do this outside the Primal 7 unit by doing a wall sit, which is everybody's favorite. So what you'll do is you'll um, stand up against the wall and walk your feet out. And then you'll put your feet about a hip's width apart and slide down the wall as far as you can go. I normally would go to about 90 degrees. I don't have any issues with my knees. But for somebody who does have issues with their knees, you can go into a little bit of a quarter squat. Make sure your knees aren't caving in and they're not splayed out too far either. Make sure they're pointing just a little bit out and straight ahead. The big thing also too to look forward with this is make sure your knees aren't going past your toes. So with this, you'll hold for about 15 seconds. If you need to slowly work up to 15 seven seconds, that's completely fine. Start with a lower number and you can repeat it three times in a row. Again, make sure you're really squeezing your butt and you're not becoming too quad dominant with this as well. 